Hello guys, welcome to Rich Living Master YouTube channel where we create content to help you optimize three areas of your life: health, wealth, and relationships. This is Abhishek, uh, and I'm Sohel. And in this video, we are going to be talking about something very, very important. We are going to be giving you six techniques that you can use to connect with almost anyone. One of the biggest challenges that we face is when we communicate with someone, we fail to connect. And only yep. when you connect, the relationship is built. So we are going to start off with six techniques that you could use to connect with almost anyone, which means you can have better relationship. The first technique that we are going to be covering is called bridging. Now, what is bridging? Bridging is a very simple technique where you ask questions. It's something where you prompt people to speak more. For example, if someone is telling you, uh, you know what? I'm doing this job. You can be like, what does this mean? Like, some questions that you can use in bridging are meaning, in what way? So, what do you mean? Really? Uh, how come? Like, something like that. Some questions like that, which <coughs> makes user go deeper into certain topics. Now, a uh, rule of thumb in bridging is this. You expand the last few letters of the question for example if the question is meaning you say meaning and then you listen now if you haven't seen this work i have done this with sohel in one of the videos i'll link yeah, to true. in the end it worked he opened up it's just an example of how it works so go check it out other than that asking people meaning in what way how come or something like that to expand on a subject will make them speak more deeper more and also help them open up to you so uh, the second thing which we'll be talking about is again very simple but we folk uh, we forget it and take it for for uh, for, for, uh, for granted the that is the head nod uh, this is basically what we create or what we do to create good vibes uh, in the people that are listening to you either it uh, it can be a single person or a group uh, when you do this head nod uh, the person is most likely to reply back with a head nod as well so that uh, that proves or that is a proof that he uh, like they are listening or they are understanding whatever uh, you are saying to them and it is like proven by study as well uh, that when they are focused on your actions they uh, listen to your words as well and then they keep the things that you spoke about in their memory for a longer time so the third technique is called minimal anchorages <laughs> imagine you're speaking to someone who's going to look at you with the dead poker face look someone like this Imagine telling a story to that kind of person. <laughs> I'm telling you, we would have all faced those kind of people where you're speaking and then they have no reaction whatsoever. It's a very weird feeling. It's It just feels so bad, you know, like to speak to them, you don't feel like opening up to them. Now, the crazy part is most of us do it too sometimes unconsciously. And we wonder why the person in front of us is not able to connect with us. And what you can do is when someone is speaking to you, all you can do is, hmm, right, yeah. I get it. Now and then, just put it across now and then. Don't overdo it. Again, that's another weird thing that you will do. Like People will feel weird about it. So don't overdo it. So in a conversation, if somebody tells you, yeah, I'm going here, I'm doing this. I had this experience. You're like, yeah. Mm. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, got it. Just slip these kind of encourages passed through to them somewhere in between conversation every now and then it will i guarantee you it will make people open up more it will make people speak to you more often express their experiences or whatever thoughts that is going on in their head to you a lot more often than if you did not do this the next thing is and it's again very important thing uh, when we are talking to uh, to people that is keeping eye contact uh, keep eye contact is basically a major and uh, important sign that a person is focused on you right uh, so if i'm talking to you and looking here uh, it doesn't uh, like look good right and you you might be feeling a bit weird or something like i'm talking uh, to you and looking here so uh, like uh, let us know uh, in the comments how do you feel, uh, uh, feel about it right 
so this will be like looking very weird and uh, awkward and you are like bound to forget or even walk out uh, of the conversation so you you can just uh, keep and this thing in your mind consciously that you have to keep uh, eye contact you have to uh, make the people who are there and talking to you keep the uh, their eye contact with you as well you can use some things or a pen or uh, uh, your finger to make sure that they are looking at you towards you so that they are focused and they are listening to you and they are listening to your message another technique that you can use which is kind of powerful but this is a little more advanced it's not as basic as all the other techniques are this technique is called mirroring now you might have seen it in some movies you would have come across this technique if you would have taken any communication skills training or public speaking training <coughs> or even sales training this technique is something that can build a very deep trust for example if me and him are sitting one thing that i can do is i can match him or mirror him in the sense that i can have a same similar body language as him now i don't have to copy him exactly sitting like this <laughs> and then sitting like this but okay. small things like holding my hand something like this holding a mic like this and probably leaning a little bit forward if i do these kind of things here's what happens we like familiarity we like commonality we want people who are similar or common to us not always the same but sometimes we need similar people what your brain is going to go like when somebody in front of you is mirroring you when they do it in a very right way your mind is going like okay he is similar to me his thought patterns are sim- similar to me his breathing pattern or his thinking is similar to me because he has a similar body language like me which means you know what yeah, i'm going to have a trust with him i am going to open up to him so <coughs> if you can mirror people so one way of mirroring or right. matching is like his thing now mirroring is for example if you lift your left hand the mirror in the mirror it's like you're raising your right hand Yeah, true. Right. So, if I am lifting my left hand, if you lift your right hand, that's a like mirroring. So, if he's sitting this way, think of this as a mirror. Can just turn the side. Yeah. So, yeah. if you're sitting this way, now I just want you to focus here. If I sit like him, if I put my hand a little bit across, if I sit like this with the mic, there is some similarity here. You can see. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is a mirroring. However, he can sit like that. I can match him. The sense that if I move a little bit this way, and I'm sitting this way, but I'm still keeping the mic this way, it means I'm matching him. For example, matching is like if he raises his left hand and I raise my left hand, or if he is holding a mic in his left hand, if I bring it back into my left hand, and if I sit like this, this is match. This is matching. Like you can see, we are so similar here. This is mirroring, and like this. is matching so when you do it it takes some practice to do it but if you can do it you will start seeing some changes you will start seeing how people are more likely to build that trust with you if you don't overdo it then it that it works very well if you overdo it yeah people will stop talking to you uh, the next thing is uh, again very important uh, uh, like according to me that spacing like the number of words that you speak the speed of your speech basically right so if you are speed uh, speaking faster than your uh, audience audience again a single or a group of people if you are speaking faster than the audience first they won't understand what you said so that's waste of time for you <coughs> and to them second thing they will feel like uh, you are in total command again so we have spoken about this in a uh, couple of uh, last videos as well so that won't work out very well like that doesn't look good in other people's mind right so if they see that you are in command or you are like uh, very commanding to them they will tune uh, tune themselves out so don't do this second if you feel that you are losing uh, the audience's focus again like right? so stop there ask them make sure or you ask them some questions so that they are sitting and thinking what they heard what they saw and they are then uh, when they reply back they they, uh, they might be wrong that's all okay but when they are thinking you are at least sure that they will uh, remember some things so that is important and when you remember what you spoke about or what you talked uh, to a person you are most likely to build 
a good deep connection oh uh, like over a, uh, a a period of time so two things again i'll repeat this is like short but important talk slowly or at their pace at their speech uh, of speed and stop and ask them questions or repeat slowly if you think that they have lost focus or they're trying to like they're not able to cope up with your speech pattern that's it thank you so much for watching now if you think you found any value from watching our video please like subscribe and comment what do you think that we should make a video on next we'll see if we can do it if it's relevant enough we'll do it thank you so much for watching once again Goodbye. thank you so much bye bye